Are you looking for a way to carry your Mavic Pro camera, all kinds of equipments to make sure that you grab all the footage that you need for an epic photo shoot? In today's video, I take a look at the Drone Trekker Backpack by Polar Pro. It carries all of that and more coming up. What's up guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and on this channel I focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content for your YouTube channels and productions. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. And hey, just to let you know, at any time during this video, you can check out the show notes and links that I've left in the description below. I've got links to all of the gear that I'm using today as well as the gear that I use to make videos just like this. So you can check those out. Also, I have my social media links down there so you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and start following some of the behind the scenes looks that I've been posting as I film these videos. Quick shout out to Polar Pro for supporting the channel and sending out this backpack for review on today's video. I've covered a lot of cases for the Mavic Pro here on the YouTube channel, but most of them have been geared around hard shell cases and bulkier options. Today, I'm listening to some of the feedback that you guys have given me to cover some other options for the Mavic Pro. Now, obviously you have your Mavic Pro pouch that came with the fly more combo if you got that uh, and it works great for going around town and stuff but you can really only fit uh, your Mavic Pro and a you know just really one or two other batteries and your controller in it there's not a lot of room for anything else and so most people are looking for an option that they can throw onto their back um, especially if you're looking to go into the backcountry into the woods um, or checking out you know a city or something like that where you need to be portable and you don't want to hand carry a hard case around and you need more gear than what the power can actually hold. Well, the folks at Polar Pro have been making backpacks, cases, and filters for a very long time, all based around drones and the gear that we need to make them work the best. And since they've been doing it for so long, this backpack definitely shows it in all of the amazing ways that you can customize storage for whatever gear that you have. So let's check it out. The backpack itself, super comfortable to actually carry around. It has uh, a lot of thick foam right here in the pads for your, uh, for your arms and your shoulders keeping everything nice and snug. On the back panel, you can actually see that it has this uh, foam mesh system here. So lots of extra padding for your back um, and as well as these slots that allow for some extra ventilation. So your back doesn't get as hot when you're wearing this and hiking around. For stability while you're hiking, it also has a waist strap that can go around. You can cinch this down around your waist and actually take a lot of the weight and load off of your shoulders and place it right there on your waist. So that makes long hikes a lot easier. Looking around the backpack, you have the TSA zipper locks right here. So you can set your own code uh, and lock up those zippers if you're traveling and you wanna make sure that no one gets inside your case. Uh, you also have all kinds of lashing points all the way around the backpack. So you can definitely uh, attach tons of stuff to the sides of it. You have these flexible pockets on the outside of each side of the bag. Those are definitely great for water bottles and whatnot. And then you have this strap right here on the front that I've chosen to put a tripod on. So really just a really quick, easy way to have access to something um, right there. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at what all I've got inside here. Of course, the front pocket right here is actually a laptop sleeve. So in here, I have my 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, 2016 model. So that's staying nice and protected in a full laptop sleeve here with Velcro. It also has a small other sleeve here. Uh, and in that I've got my iPad Air. And so it's living right in there as well. And still plenty of other space right in here if you have you know, documents or books or whatnot that you wanna carry with you. So tons of space right in here for all of those electronics. You also have uh, zipper pockets on each side. So you have tons of room here um, to give space for tucking away cables or things that you need quick access to. You can get to them right there on the side. On the very top of the bag right here, there's a small zipper compartment so you have a quick access. If you need, uh, you know, when I'm traveling, I like to put my passports and stuff like that right in the top there and wallet and those kind of things. Maybe you have a phone you want to tuck in there. It's just a quick access place that works really well. Now where everything is really housed is inside here on the back of the compartment. So everything's staying right up against your back which is nice uh, let's take a look at what's inside here again you can use these TSA locks right here if you want to 
if you're traveling and need some extra protection. So first off, right inside the bag, you have these two massive zipper compartments. These are great for cables or anything like that that you would need to tuck away in here. In this one right here, I actually have a couple cables. These are the Anchor cables. Uh, they are a great company that makes super high quality cables. Um, this is just a really fantastic accessory. I always keep a lightning port version and a micro USB with me wherever I go because uh, sometimes what I found is that that I need to actually use this cable to hook up my iPhone to the Mavic Pro controller if I'm having issues with connection or also if I wanna hook up my phone to it. However, phone, tablet, however you wanna hook it up, um, this cable comes in really handy for that. So I keep those right in here. And then this unzips and you have access to the massive interior. Now here's what I've got in here right now. All of this is completely customizable. So every single one of these little inserts are Velcro. So you can customize this however you want. Um, right here I have just an old case. This is actually from an old PlayStation Vita, but I, I've recycled it to make it use for a place for all my batteries. So these have batteries for the lights that I use and camera batteries, stuff like that. Right here I have a small tabletop Manfrotto tripod that I use for my cell phone a lot of times and this is the clamp that goes onto that. I'll use this for lights as I'm filming or just you know hooking my cell phone up as a monitor or something like that. Right here I have a battery. I didn't put it in the right spot last time but it goes here. So all of my batteries for my drone are right here. We have one all, all the way in this corner. I don't know if you can see it but there's one there, one there, one there, and one on the drone itself. I have the Mavic controller right here in this slot and I have a couple extra lenses. This is the 12 to 35 for the Panasonic G85 that I film on. This is the 12 to 60. I'm using the uh, 7 to 14 right now and I also have the Sigma 18 to 35 with a Metabone speed booster uh, and it's not it's on the camera um, and it's not in this rig right now but I also have this big space right here left over that you can use all, for all kinds of different things but this is where my camera goes um, and then you have this pouch here this whole pouch is actually removable so if you want even more space you have tons of room right here um, but this is great it just kind of velcros in and I use it to kind of collect some different things so I've got the charging case Cable for the controller. If I'm not using the anchor one, I have backups. I have the filters from Polar Pro. Um, these are really fantastic neutral density filters for the Mavic. Um, those are great. There's another video coming up on the channel about that, or it might already be out depending on when this releases, but you can check that out. And then in here, I have a I have a power bank from Anchor. This is a 26,800 milliamp hour battery. It's massive. It, it can charge my phone, it can charge my tablet, it, it can charge the controller on the Mavic, everything that I would need to have charged multiple, multiple times right here in the bag with it. And then I also have the landing gear from Polar Pro as well in this bag, um, just kind of in case I get into a situation where I need to have a little bit more lift, ground clearance on my takeoffs and landings, those are there ready to go. Over here I have the charger for the Mavic Pro as well as the four battery charger that came with a fly more combo. And then I've just got this set up right here in the middle and the Mavic Pro is living right there. So as you can see guys, you have just an enormous amount of space in this thing. I mean, it is completely, like I said, customizable. These center columns, everything is Velcro. The entire outside and bottom of this is the receiving end of the Velcro. And then each one of these have the sticky end, which is really great. I've had backpacks before that only have receiving ends for Velcro in certain places, but this entire bag is completely uh, customizable. You can put these wherever you need to. So that's really, really great. So no matter what you have to carry in your gear, whether it is a camera with extra lenses with your Mavic Pro, maybe it's more uh, tech gear, maybe it's hiking gear, maybe it's lunch for uh, the day as you go out and film for the afternoon, or you know, who knows what it might be that you need to carry, but there's tons of space here uh, in a backpack form factor. And since it's entirely customizable, you can make this fit however you want, use these however you want. This is just a quick setup that I made this morning uh, to feature some of this gear in here but you know you can organize this however I do like to put the Mavic right in the middle though so that there's a lot of extra uh, padding all the way around it you can even use these to go
go on the corner so you can sit your Mavic right in the center. Another really awesome thing about this is that in the future, if you decide to get one of the Phantom Siri drones from DJI, uh, they, you can actually customize this again, fit your whole Phantom 4 drone in here um, or Phantom 4 Pro or whatever uh, future kind of drone you might have. You can fit that right in this instead of the Mavic. So you still have room for all kinds of things like your lenses and things like that, but you can have expandability for the future in case you decide to go to a larger form factor drone. One other pet peeve of mine with backpacks is the stability that they offer to be able to stand up on their own. I hate it when I put a bag down and it just falls over. But on this guy on the bottom here, you'll see that you have this nice rigid plastic bottom uh, and it's actually separate from the rest of the pack so it can stay flat no matter how you pack the rest of the backpack. So you sit it down and it stays, which is just a plus for me, I don't know. Maybe that's not a big deal for a lot of people, but when I'm traveling, I'm in an airport and I set my bag down next to my gate and I have a seat for a minute, I don't wanna worry about it falling over all the time or having to lean it up against something. I just love that it always stands up no matter how you put it down, it's great. There's also a great handle on top that has really nice stitching on it. I think it's gonna keep it very secure and gives it a really great way to just grab it and lift it up quickly when you need to. The other nice thing about this backpack is that they include a rain fly for it. So if weather starts to turn a little nasty like it is today, super rainy, super yucky, you can throw the rain fly on and be sure that all of your gear is protected. Now maybe you don't need that much space for your gear. Maybe your Mavic Pro is the only thing that you're gonna be carrying that day and you already have a backpack all set to go. Well, Polar Pro also has an option for you there. They just released this small carrying case for your Mavic Pro. So nice little rubber handle here. There's not a lot to it, but it does have a great quality feel to it and it does have a little bit of rigidity to it. It doesn't really collapse. So it's a soft case, but it actually is a little bit rigid as well. So you're gonna have things protected and on the inside, super simple uh, you have a foam pad on top to keep everything nice and safe and then on the inside you have these two little straps here and space for the Mavic Pro uh, two batteries and your controller these straps go across the top and keep them in place. And that's all there is to it. So if you have a backpack already and you just need a way to stash your Mavic Pro in there, for me personally, I feel a little nervous about just throwing my Mavic Pro into a backpack that I have a bunch of other stuff in. It just, I know it's probably gonna be okay, but I just can't do it. So this is a great option to throw your accessories together into this little guy, tuck it into your existing backpack and you're all set. The small case isn't available everywhere yet. It is available from bestbuy.com for $29.99 and I will leave links in the description below. If you want to pick up the backpack, it's available from amazon.com and I'm going to have links in the description below. You can pick one up for $130. That brings us to question of the day. Drop a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Where are you taking your Mavic? Are you out exploring and hiking with it and taking it to really awesome places or do you just kind of fly around from your house or to just drive it? in a car. I'd love to hear about all the adventures that you're having and the ways in which that you are taking the Mavic out and getting some awesome footage. So let me know. So that's going to do it for today's video guys. I know it's been a little lengthy but I wanted to just give you a full review of these two cases. I think that they are incredibly high quality. I am definitely using this Polar Pro backpack myself. I'm heading on a flight first thing in the morning to go to Guatemala and this guy is going to be my carry-on with my drone and my camera and all the valuable things that I don't want to stow away underneath. Uh, even in Pelican cases, I know that those are super safe to carry stuff in, but I just like having those things underneath the seat in front of me or in that stowaway compartment. So I am definitely using this case and I know that it's going to be a big help to you guys as well as you travel around with your drone. So if you want one, definitely check them out. Links in the description below. As always, I hope that it's been helpful today, guys, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video.